Good morning, I'm Trish Pahanig and this is Synopsis, your first early morning briefing. Today is Tuesday, September 23rd, 2008. Here are today's top stories. Despite the glamorous gowns and peppering of political jokes, Sunday night's telecast of the 60th Primetime Emmy Awards on ABC dipped in overall viewership. The Emmy Awards show brought in an average of 12.2 million viewers compared to last year's telecast on Fox at 12.95 million. Football was the big draw Sunday night as NBC Sunday night football match between the Dallas Cowboys and Green Bay Packers packed in 21 million total viewers overall. The CW gave a full season episode order for 90210. The recent two-hour premiere became the network's highest rated series opener with women 18 to 34 at a 4.512, adults 18 to 34 at a 3.119, and adults 18 to 49 at a 2.67. CBS confirmed it will bring back Big Brother for an 11th edition next summer. The reality series is produced by Allison Grodner, Rich Meehan, and Scott Einziger in association with Endemol USA, Inc. Lifetime Television announced it will kick off its new original primetime comedy series, Reader Rocks, with five episodes over five nights. Starting October 20th through the 25th, Reba will air at 8 p.m., followed by Reader Rocks at 8.30. Then, on October 28th, Reader Rocks will slide into its regular time slot of Tuesday nights at 8.30 p.m. Reader Rocks is produced by Media Rights Capital for Lifetime. True TV sends a chill as it opens the new series, Ski Patrol, on October 20th at 8 p.m. In each 30-minute episode, viewers will watch as two teams of elite patrollers made up of men and women trained as part cop, part medical technician respond to rescue missions involving missing children and snowboarders and skiers who try daredevil stunts. Filming for the series happened at Blue Mountain, Pennsylvania and Crystal Mountain, Washington. The Blue Mountain episodes were produced by Buna Murray Productions, while the Crystal Mountain episodes were produced by Varuna Entertainment, Inc. Ion Television just completed a multi-year film acquisition agreement with Warner Brothers Domestic Television Distribution. The deal allows Ion to air 27 films this fall through summer 2010. Starting this Wednesday at 8 p.m., Ion will air the first film in the package, Grumpier Old Men. Other film titles include The Fugitive, Goodfellas, Heat, plus The Lethal Weapons 1, 2, and 3, among others. NBC Universal's Mundos, the bicultural network, will debut a new reality series called The Callback in June 2009. The series, over multiple platforms, will zero in on acting competition between 30 young Latinos from across the U.S. who will compete for a co-starring role on an NBC Universal property. The competition will collaborate with Loyola Marymount University in L.A. Discovery Health looks at the medical case of Deed Kasawa in Indonesia, who has bizarre plant-looking growths on his hands and feet in the new series, Tree Man, Search for the Cure. The series will chronicle the American doctor, Anthony Gasperi, who travels there to find a cure for Deed before the time runs out. Before time runs out, the series opens October 5th at 9 p.m. Meanwhile, over at Fox and Last Up Today, they've got a new office comedy percolating in development from writer Kevin Napier and Ben Stiller's Red Hour Films production company reports Variety. Fox gave a script order with penalties attached to the station, which takes place at an undercover CIA office in South America. Stiller agreed to direct and executive produce, while Napier will write and co-executive produce. 20th Century Fox TV produces along with Red Hour Films. do it for today. Be sure to check your email for the full printed version of today's synopsis with new executive moves and more on ratings, plenty of new classified ads, a few of the stories that did not make it into this podcast, and check out tonight's primetime broadcast lineup. This is a Synopsis Media production in association with 311 West. For Cynthia Turner, who wrote and compiled Synopsis in Connecticut, I'm Trish Pahanek. I'm going to have a good day. Even if I make it myself, I'm going to have a good day. I don't need no one else. I'm going to have a good day. 
nothing wrong I could do. I'm gonna have a good day. Hope you have a good day too.